I think the hardest part though, Bless, is like, like you can see my steam. That's the hardest part for me. Um, but yeah, there's so many different, um, what do you call it? Different game provider platformy things, whatever the fuck they're called. You know, like Steam, but other things. I don't know what they're called. Actually, could somebody let me know what they're called? Because I actually don't know what to say that they are. But yeah, um, there's heaps of those as well. So there's lots of variety. All I know is like, Bless will be at work right now and be like fucking scrolling through my like Steam and seeing what is and isn't on there anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the actual, like, what to call it. Like, um, I don't know. Pro like, I always just refer to Steam as, like, a program that you play your games from or, like, host your games or something like that. But I don't actually know what the thing is. In, like, the Steam client. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to think of stuff like that. Because you've got, like, Steam, you've got, like, what's the other ones? It is... Uh, don't you do it either. I don't know. I can't remember off the top of my head. I've got them on, like, my fucking desktop. Hold up. I I don't want to fuck around down in the window. Um. Uh, what do you call it? Like, Origin and, um, Blizzard and obviously Steam and stuff like that exists. Like, those kind of things. Like, I don't know what to call them. Um, you... App? Maybe. Uh, you're a pacifist and I think you you can attack. Lorna, how do you feel about stopping a Ambrosa binge from happening like in real time? How do you feel about that? I actually don't know what her name is. What is it? Lorna? Lorna. Okay. Good for you, Lorna. Get out there and do the thing. Uh, who else is around? Ray's here. Marla might fuck him up. Go fuck him up. You're not getting the drugs. Fred can get in. Well, seller, fucking calm down. You're better up to. Clients. Thank you. That's the word I'm thinking about. Fucking hell. It's like it's one of those like <sighs> excessively fucking uh, IT sounding words. <laughs> That's just like really simple, but it just slips my fucking brain's existence every time. You guys beat her up. Uh, I'm here is running away. Dan's coming in here to fuck up. Oh, I was a little excessive, Dan. Is she alright? Yes. Hey, okay, that's okay. Rescue it. Lurking, but I must say I love your voice. Thank you. Um, I do get a couple of compliments and stuff on it, but I've actually, like, I've been straining it over the last couple of months, unfortunately. Um, ever since I fucking recorded a, um, what are they called? A cover of a song, um, which is in Discord. Um, but yeah, ever since I fucking re recorded that, my voice has just been like kind of dealing. Sometimes by the end of a video, I will get like, um, a really sore voice and I'll struggle to talk a little bit. So, um, you'll find that like, I'll... I don't know. I just feel the the need to apologize that like I have to like clear my throat or or grab a drink or that my voice is going sore, stuff like that. Like it's not it's none of you guys' problems that my voice is sore. I just talk a lot. Um, hey Kanya, welcome back in. Um, I was really fucking enjoying like the deep talk on like comics and books and shit and stuff yesterday. By the way, I was really enjoying that. I know that like the time for the stream and stuff cut it short, but it was nice to like talk about this stuff. Who is that oh, fire? Here. My headset is just being painful tonight. Hold up. I'm trying to do this thing with my headset where it's propped up a little bit so I can hear a little bit more so that I'm not projecting my voice as hard. And that way, because I've I've listened back to some of my VODs and I kind of sound a little bit like I'm shouting. Um, and so I kind of wanted to remove that because even on like a really low volume, it sounds like I'm shouting. And I'm like, okay, that might be where I'm like straining my voice a little bit extra. 
So I just thought I'd like work on that. And the problem I've got is I'm trying to prop up a noise cancelling headset to hear myself a little bit better. And it's putting different pressure on like different parts of my head instead. But it is bringing my voice down. I'm not I'm not belting it out as hard. And my microphone's strong enough these days that it will pick it up. So you guys shouldn't have any issues with still being able to hear me. Um, I know you'll fucking let me know if you do. Um, which I'd appreciate anyway. I'd rather know if something's not audible or clear. Boyers. I think I got everybody in here. That was fun. So I worry I'm being the grading with me being gloomy lately. I think a lot of people are dealing with that at the moment. Um, I know um, Caffeine Cat was like that when he first arrived tonight. Um, I think Struvius has had a few days like that. Um, some other streamers I know have as well. I think I think everybody's just got a lot happening. There's a lot to deal with at the moment. And it's like nothing's making it easier. And I fucking feel it too. Like I know like Christmas is coming up and basically like like I'm just letting you guys know this stuff because like it's just facts, right? Is like I have so much shit that's just broken and or not working or needs repair or whatever um in and around me and there's nothing I can do about it and I just have to deal with it and some days that's really hard and um I still I don't know I still like hop on and I'm still more or less like the same person some days I'll purposely say like I need like a little bit of extra care or something like that in chat or something like that because like I might be having like a really bad day or something like that and I just need like a little bit of love given back kind of thing which you guys already do that a lot anyway but um it never hurts to ask and like talk to people and stuff like that and I like being here because it's nice talking to you guys like last night was great I was having so much fun with just talking about books I haven't fucking talked about books for ages um and I was thinking about it like that stuck with me long after stream and I'm like I just yeah I was just thinking to myself, I'm like, it's just a shame that I had to end stream when I did um, just because, like, it kind of got to my sort of time. I'm trying to get better at sticking to the times that I say I'm going to stream so I'm not, like, overstraining my voice and um, overstressing myself and stuff like that. Uh, that way I can be here more consistently for you. I kind of already really am very consistent, but, you know, having my voice more consistent would be nice. So... Yeah, no, I was I I just thought it just sucked that it's like ended so soon last night. I didn't find you like gloomy or anything. Like if you were, you didn't come across that way, or maybe I just like felt chipper enough towards you that it was like um, bringing up everything for both of us. They're both luckily and sadly it was a good time since I had to take my little brother to work. Okay, um, so yeah. Luckily and sadly. Hmm. At least, I don't know, without going into your situation and prying into your personal life, at least you're, like, able to spend that time with them. Um, I don't know. I'm very detached from, like, all my family. I have, like, a few friends. I've got my partner and that's it. Like, a couple of close cousins. That's it. That's all my network is. So... This this coming Christmas is probably going to be one of my, I don't like to say the term like my most depressive, but it's going to be one of my loneliest, which is going to suck. So I also don't know what my screen, uh, stream schedule is going to be like around then. Um, I also don't even know what I'm doing for my stream anniversary yet. And that's in like a week and a half. I was going to do something like PUBG but I kind of want to do something more fun because, like, I don't know, I enjoy playing PUBG. I can play it for hours without any issues. But at the same time, like, I don't know how many of my followers are actually that interested in, like, hanging out with me while I play PUBG for, like, endless hours. And it's kind of like a celebration of, like, reaching one year. Is this going out? I just, like, looking around to see what's going on and I just noticed my caravan's leaving. Let me just keep on that. I just want to bring my saves up so I don't... Sometimes you can prevent them from having a full-on tantrum and just get them the fuck out of here. If you just save it here, 
and they get all the way up to the edge and then they have a tantrum you could just like immediately load back up this one's got a lot of steel in it that's not the biggest priority but it's fine um i have too many prisoners for one area that's way too many what the fuck is on fire that it's fine um that definitely died do i not have i may not have space to store it do i have hold on uh allow it's not rotten i've got animal corpses can go in here so why didn't they take that in there oh man i see i've got limestone here this is why that group came back with so much marble which by the way where the fuck is the animals because if you leave the backpacks on them, the people have to manually take all the crap off them. But if you drop all inventory, that's suddenly just on the ground and your pack animals can come and get it. Mind you, I don't really have many pack animals here, but if there's food that they brought home, if there's drugs or something like that, the animals will eat them. Like there's psychoid leaves right there. And there's a fair chance that my animals will nibble on that before my people even think about using it for anything not that i have a drug lab here to use it but yeah it can help i need to separate that hot sweet um should be able to make this entire row i i need to make additional areas i'll tell you what i'm gonna zoom in we're going to make this whole area i think I can get up here I think I have enough to do this oh my god let me zoom in about here there there you go let's just do it maybe no nope. okay what the fuck uh mm. I think being detached from my family would be good for me sadly but I'm too much of a stream watcher I'll admit but if I'm waking around I'll pop in that's all good you're not too much of a stream watcher I'm actually still very fucking new to streams and streaming and stuff. So I don't get a great chance to like hang out and like watch other people. Oh god, bear. I don't get a chance to watch a lot of people, but I do try. Um, if I see somebody that's online that I know. I don't know. I, I know that sometimes it's just like saying hello can be enough to like brighten somebody's day. Because, um, I don't know. Just just the way I am I guess um can I have that door please give me that yes hold up that's not supposed to go there is it no it's not all right let's just slap that there before I get distracted yeah no I had to detach from mine um just because I was just constantly on a um what do you call it? Basically, like a medical roller coaster dealing with them. Um, my health uh, severely goes up and down, specifically down um, when interacting with them. So, yeah, I had to kind of stop that so that I could actually have some semblance of health. And I've now probably, even though I have a lot of medical conditions and I still have to take like various medications and stuff like that. I still have, like, my doctor basically has said I've got the best health I've had in years, which is true. It's actually, like, really showing. Like, I've got, apart from, like, this, like, past week or so, like, I've had, like, pretty decent sleep um, schedule, even though I've got a sleeping disorder. Um, I've had, like, I don't eat a lot of food, but, like, I'm still doing good with that. I don't know where you're planning on taking that person. Where are you trying to go? Hold up. Can you capture them, please? I just need to slap them into a bed. Thank you. I'll do it. I was just confused why they wouldn't pick them up. I may not have enough beds. Oh, Benico, no. Um, this is why I don't keep drugs. Um, sorry, Benico. Aren't you in the caravan? Hold up. I don't think I saved over two. I might be able to avoid two situations here. See how this goes. <laughs> um, I might be able to really get them. Like, to if depending on how I've been saving this, I might be able to gloss over the going berserk 
and the various drug induced interests. There we go. Oh my god, I almost couldn't fucking say it. Uh, yeah, they're still trying to get out. Let me save over for that other shitstorm that was happening with Sora 1. Sweet Jesus. I feel bad watching a stream and not talking. Just not really here mentally, like 95% of the day. Used to put streams on in the background all the time. It's good to hear you're doing better. Don't hear much of that. Well, at least not me. Yeah, unfortunately, um, stuff like that isn't particularly talked about too much. Um, like I do try to provide like a safe and welcoming environment that people can just like hang out and enjoy, you know, whatever they're doing in their personal time or at work or uni or whatever they're doing, you know, that I can just like, I guess, provide a little bit of like calm. Mind you, some games, <laughs> some games where my rage out doesn't provide calm, but it's still fucking welcoming and like relatively wholesome environment here for everyone. So if you ever need a refuge, I'm here. And I'm usually live at the same time every night, so at least you can depend on that, if nothing else, I guess. Um, like, that doesn't sound very good, but at the same time, at least, like, I I will notice. I actually do notice if, like, I don't see somebody say hello for a while. If, like, you'll, you'll hear me call it out. I'll often say, oh, man, I haven't... Like, I feel like I haven't got to talk to you for a while. Like, I literally had that yesterday with you because, like, I hadn't seen you for a bit. Like, I notice. I do notice. Like, even though I don't see numbers, I do remember names pretty often when I see them, like, come through and say hello and stuff. And, yeah, I do get the whole, like, like, not talking stuff and how that sort of feels and stuff. Because, like, sometimes if I'm watching a streamer, like, sometimes I'm just, like, le legitimately just, like, chilling watching their game. And they're just like a bonus um, to have like narrating or doing like funny, silly stuff in amongst it all. And other times, like I'm like legitimately just there to interact with the streamer, regardless of whatever they're playing. And um, that can also be really nice too. But I don't know, sometimes I, I don't know, sometimes I want to talk or I'm not getting too much of a response or like not so much the response. But, like, I don't know, I just feel like I don't have much to add to a topic and then it's like, oh, I'm just here. But, yeah, I'm normally listening in the background. But better than being left with my thoughts when I'm winding down going to bed. I definitely fully understand that. So I'm one of those people that, like, really is my entire day. Every single time I try to sleep. Um, two things I've had that help is since... I've had a phone that has internet. I can listen to stuff as I'm going to bed and that way I'm not focusing on my inner thoughts or my day or whatever might be bothering me. Uh, that has been really useful. Alternatively, and I know it does cost money, is Headspace. I'm not sponsored by them in no fucking way. Who is having a rage? Hold up. Yeah, that's fine. Um, but at the same time, like I personally use them I've used them for like multitude of different reasons and one of them, I'm not going to save that because I don't know if they'll get out. I'll save over two. One of the things that has helped me is they have like various like sleep um, stories and they go for like, depends on how long you fall, like depends on how long it takes you to fall asleep, right? Um, I sometimes require listening to two separate ones to be able to get like the full fall asleep to it kind of thing but there's a few that I just like listening to that are really nice um what is it one is I think one's the slow train and one is what's the other one I don't mind midnight laundrette I like antiques um lazy day antiques I like that one a lot but um yeah I tend to listen to those and yeah sometimes sometimes fucking headspace goes on special and they're good to listen to like you can also like meditate and other shit my caravan's headed off so i hope i hope mitz fucking lives because i just downed her over here um but yeah if that's something that's like available to you that interests you 
and hopefully doesn't like make your situation worse because it's costs money. I I, I would highly recommend it. Um, at least like trying it out. At least like trying out like some of the like calming meditation things. Because what I ended up doing, so I used to have a really really high stress job. Um, I think that's why like a lot of like managing room world and other things like uh, my streams and multi content and stuff creation doesn't really affect me too heavily. Because I just I went from such a high stress thing to this shit. Oh, thank you for the gift sub. Again, man, you didn't have to do that, but thank you. Um uh yeah, the fucking uh I ended up getting into a process where I would um because obviously I've got long hair, right? So I I shower every night and like wash my hair every night. So while I'm in the process waiting for my hair to dry, which is like 15, 20 minutes. Um, I have 15, 20 minutes, right? And a lot of the time I'd spend that time with either my thoughts, which is, of course, you know, if you're in high stress or a bad situation or something like that, does not help you. It just does not. Um, Kale Senpai does as he pleases. He fucking does. He really does. Um, it's like no amount of, like, anything will stop him, I don't think. I don't think anything can stop Chaos Senpai. But, yeah, um... I would spend probably five minutes meditating and I'd listen to a few different stories. Sweet Jesus, man. Gifts us a flying. Oh my God. Thank you. I'm always afraid my negativity finding its way into my typing without me noticing. It was me how often I have to delete a message in Discord because I do that. I try not to talk too much to others right now. My thoughts are running, running a mile a minute when I try to sleep trying to remember everything that could problems with how much stuff I've got to what's it, circumvent. I don't have money to pay for something like that. Thanks. Uh, you didn't need to do that. Yeah. Like the other thing too is I think you can get a couple of the couple of minute meditations on YouTube shorts. So those exist too and those don't cost anything. So um, even just like slowing down your breathing and stuff can help. Um, just like doing a few like deep inhales and stuff like that. If you're looking to go to bed, just like sitting there, just paying attention to your breathing for like five minutes will help. Fatality. Oh, bless. That gopher is judging the fuck out of you, man. Everybody knows what you did. They really did know what you did. It's like literally says it in chat what you did. Oh my god, bear. Can we not? I have got shock glances, but I don't want to use them. Let's save that. Yeah, no, I um, I actually read um, emotion and intent when I read people's comments. So I generally have a pretty good understanding of what somebody's um, emotion or intention is behind a comment. Um, I think that's why I don't have too much trouble like communicating and stuff like that, especially with chat, um, especially with Discord members and stuff like that. Because I don't know, I just it just is like that. Um, did somebody pick up bear? No. Um, but yeah, I, um, that's one of the things that I'm like surprisingly good at. The other thing too, is I have also dealt with, um, extremely heavy situations myself. Um, and this is the person that I am after it. So I also have that kind of positivity towards other people's situations, even if it's horrible and trust me i know fucking horrible but um as long as somebody does care about you and if as i said if nobody else i do um you know sometimes that can make a difference and just to be clear i'm not i'm not like on the verge of tears or something my voice is just being crap um i I know it sounds weird to say that like, you know, I'm a streamer and like I do barely know you, but I do care. I do care about all of my followers, all my members, all my chatters and stuff. I actually am one of those weirdly sincere people that I actually give a fuck about people. And it has really like disturbed a lot of people for some reason. Oh, come on. Let me finish my damn drink. I threw that back and nearly fucking wore it. Hold up. Where are you? Um, let me get several right here. 
I think Weeks is fucking him up real bad. I don't want to save over a Sora 2, but I'll save over that one. Okay. That's it. I've been out of work for a year and a half now. Shit, it's been an additional six months. I was originally trying to repair my mental state by getting fired from last job, but I've just gotten so much worse, won't lie. I wanted to break last night thinking about the monetary situation, to be honest. Thanks. Not to talk shit, but people can be weird like that. Yeah, some people are. Oh my god, a description. Yeah, that was Blast Chaos Senpai, the raccoon. The raccoon commenting between you. Um, that was Blast. Um, he'll do that sometimes. Nobody can fucking control what Bless will and won't do. Um, as for your situation, Kanye, um, I actually might understand your situation a whole lot more than uh, you might think. So I was... After my really high intensity stress job, and I don't talk about this too much, um, just because like it can be very heavy, and I know that everybody is going through quite a lot at the moment. Um, don't challenge him, please don't challenge Fless. Last time he sent pickles flying everywhere and bees and shit. So yeah, don't don't challenge Fless, please. Um, so yeah, after my really high intensity job that I literally gave everything to all my spare time and I like gave up personal time and I, I basically I basically ruined everything I had personally for this job um, because I really did care a lot about it and I was good at it and I enjoyed it and I loved it and I loved the people that I worked with and all that. Um, it was actually an incredibly toxic place and I was being quite heavily, um, you know, messed with mentally. And um, at the end of the day, I lost that job and um, it just absolutely fucking destroyed me. Um, there's a lot more involved there. I'm not going into it, but it did absolutely destroy my mental humanity for two years. I wasn't able to function. Um, I was barely able to do anything, actually, like basic stuff, like cook food, get groceries, Stuff like that, you know, simple people stuff. Um, and I was very lucky. I actually had a very incredible um, psychologist help me through a lot of it. Um, I owe her a lot. Um, she was wonderful. Sometimes finding somebody that's really great um, can make all the difference. And sometimes it can be hard when you're going through that to find somebody because um, you just don't have the energy and the effort. And, yes, that has, of course put me into a um let me get a drink hold up that a calm me down don't worry bless i'm not i'm not like i'm i'm not like heavy emotional at the moment my voice is just like really dry really sore because i like kind of died in the heat for five hours while i slept but i do appreciate it um, so yeah, I had, um, oh, what is it? I basically, what's that hate from waking up from sleeping in the heat? Yeah, no, I fell asleep with the heater on because it was cold when I was getting sleepy and then I ended up waking up just drenched in sweat. So I've like lost all the water that I've drunk today <coughs> and it's just being like really extra raw on my throat, which is really painful. What the fuck? Oh my god, I haven't seen that go off. Thank you. Um, fucking shout out to anybody that picks where that song is from. Oh, fucking hell, man. Um, yeah, so basically that whole situation, um has left me in a bit of a predicament. So I was obviously unable to work during that whole situation um, because mentally I couldn't function as an adult human. Um, it's a trap. <coughs> it is a trap, bless. Thank you for fucking six bit. Um, but, yeah, I kind of like once I kind of came out of it, I had to start looking for work and stuff. Um, it didn't help that, of course, you know, we live off one wage, my partner's wage, which just barely um, meets ends. Um, I'm very lucky that that is the case. But at the same time, 
so many things have broken um, and we can't fix or replace them. We generally fix everything as much as we can ourselves and then we start replacing once it gets to the point where we can't anymore. Um, so we've had like a few things go and it's very, very hard. Don't get me wrong. It is incredibly difficult mentally to deal with knowing that um, it could be a very long time before I'm, you know, any kind of like uh, financial stability, especially since I know this sounds awful, but streaming is my job. So basically the support of you guys is what supports me. Um, and I hate having to say that because I just appreciate you guys being here because your time is the most valuable thing you have and you're giving that to me by being here. And I can't fucking thank you enough for that. But at the same time, like, obviously, some days it's difficult for me as well because I'm like, um, I may not, you know, I may not get to eat something uh, particularly good or I have to eat very little or, you know, it's a choice that I've made and I understand that. But some days it's very hard. Like when my washing machine broke and then my car broke down. And then my watch broke. Um, and then, yeah, it's just my chair shit, my desk shit. doesn't help. But, you know, I can't do anything about it. Um, even if I was to start looking for work outside of streaming, that would take me completely away from here. Because um, I spend about between 55 and 70 hours a week working on streaming and outside of streaming content <coughs> so I'm all right bless trust me I'm okay but yeah shit goes wrong like that and yeah thank you I will hydrate my voice is like there's a really really sharp pain in my throat and I'm just trying to talk through that. So that's that's all that's like bugging me at the moment. Hold up. I had to drink that a bit further away from my mic. I noticed it like fucking picks up. What is it? Your voice is struggling. Sound like it is. It really is. Um I think it's something to do with um I know that the doctor told me it's like uh, non-bacterial laryngitis, but at the same time, it's just over usage of vocal cords. So when I talk a lot, which I do anyway, um, <coughs> it can sometimes get a little bit tight or um, have trouble contracting to speak properly. I'm actually not prawning too hard, bless. But yeah. That reminds me of having problems breathing at times. Yeah, it doesn't help. I'm also asthmatic. So um, if my throat tightens up and my lungs feel like they're not getting enough oxygen, they just go into a panic mode and then it tightens it worse. So it's a very shit situation. But yeah, basically sum up all that shit. I do understand. Um, and I know that shit's like really, really hard, especially since like the world is financially difficult at the moment. And um, I think the main thing is if you are having a, a really hard night, even if you don't, oh God, you unleash the bees. Even if you feel like you don't have much to say, maybe just like turn up and hang out. I'm happy to talk. Uh, I'm happy to like, you know, take your mind off things. I know tonight it's gotten a little bit deep with things. It's probably not taking your mind off it as much. But I think sometimes just knowing that I'm not just like, I'm not just empty words here saying that, yeah, I, I definitely feel what you're on about. Like, I, I do actually know um, to a degree what you're going through. Like, obviously not the whole magnitude, but I fucking feel it. So I can, I, I can definitely relate to it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm always, I'm always here. I'm always more or less live. And this is a safe and welcoming space. So if you just need somewhere to be, you're welcome to be here, obviously. <coughs> Sorry. I really should leave my fucking inhaler in here. 
I should start doing that soon because um, I was talking about I was going to do a longer stream um, if my voice could handle it for my fucking stream anniversary, but I don't think I'll be able to. Um, I think I'll have to just do a normal length stream because I don't know. Is that asthma? It's pretty tame. I get that from what little I've struggled with. Yeah. No, it's just, um, I don't know. It feels like there's a section of my throat that's like either really dry or like really tight. It's one or the other. It's probably just tight muscles. I need to learn how to like warm up my voice and shit properly. It's supposed to be um, trying to get some kind of like, what do you call it? Like speech, not, well, speech fucking range type stuff. I don't know what it's called. But, yeah, that way I could, like, fucking talk better. But, yeah, I um, I haven't got 